Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I have a quick little mini album to share with you. This is my little uh, 2013 desktop calendar. For this calendar, I use the Fancy Pants Country Boutique 6x6 paper pad. And I used some um, little rings here to hold it together. Um, the measurements for the calendar are three and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I could use a six by six paper pad and get the most out of my paper. Um, and I'll, for the calendar pieces, the actual calendar for the mini album I got from craftysecrets.com. She has um, two different versions of a free 2013 calendar download. And she usually has one every year. So you can check that out if you want to download a calendar and make one for yourself. So on the front cover, um, the 2013 are actually, these are number brads that I have had in my stash for probably mm, two or three years. <laughs> I've been trying to go through my hoard vault and my stash and use what I have and clean out everything before the new year. And so they're actual brads. So I went ahead and just attached those on the front. These are some little punch flowers uh, with the Fiskars punch and a couple of pearls in the center and some flatback pearls here at the top. This little black rose here, I sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist and Black Magic. And the rose is actually I got from my good friend Monique Mason of Butterbee Scraps. Hey, Monique. Um, and it's made out of some kind of clay, I think. But um, it's fabulous. I love it. And I got two little punch leaves here and a little scallop edge here. And then I used some We Are Memory Keepers uh, Shimmer Eyelets to um, reinforce the, uh, the holes here. And what I did to make the tabs is I just used my um, Stampin' Up Tab Punch and um, used those and then punched holes in, added the eyelets to that. So on the first page, you flip it over. This is just kind of my like cover that says 2013 on it. It's just a decorative page. So you flip it over and here's the month of January and all the pages are exactly the same. I have a little calendar here that I mount that I, again, I just printed it directly. It was a, a, P, uh, a free download from craftysecrets.com. And I went ahead and um, printed on some white cardstock. I inked around all my edges of my design paper and the little calendar pieces with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Pumice Stone. Again, some more punch flowers here and some little bling in the middle. And the little punch flowers, are, I used black cardstock. And then these two um, colors here, the taupe and the light pale gray, are actually from the design paper pad. And the leaves are also punched with the Martha Stewart Leaf Punch. And that... Um, Beige color is actually a piece from the design paper as well. So all of them have the little calendar here, which is a little pocket, and I scalped the edge, matted it on some black cardstock, and then I made a little tiny tag here that I went ahead, you could put some notes or something, or maybe a little tiny picture on the back, but um, I stamped this with a stamp from um, the Girls Papery, uh, Paper Girl stamp set. It's an old one I've had in my stash. And I actually used uh, the same pumice stone ink to stamp the image. So that just goes back in there. So that's January. And again, you flip it over. And here's February. Again, the exact same thing. It's really cute because this paper um, actually had hearts on it. So I went ahead and used the heart paper for the month of February. I added a strip across the top with, again, the scallop edge on the calendar and the top of the thing. And then, again, I made February a pocket. Here's a little tag that I stamped with the same image. And then I have three little punch flowers here. They're actually double punch flowers. I layered one, one on top of the other and added the pearls to the center and the little rose leaf punch. And we have March. Again, same thing. I used the chevron paper. This paper is darling. I, I've seen it actually used for a lot of things. Um, it's called Country Boutique and it's really, really pre pretty. I've had it for quite a while. I've seen wedding layouts with it. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. Um, again, the flowers right here, the March calendar that's a pocket and the little tag. So that's March. Um, for April I used a little um, floral uh, swirl here. Again the three flowers, the leaves, and the April calendar, and the little tag. And then we have May. May I tried to use the, um, the floral print that has, and then again I inked all the edges with the pumice stone. Here's the May calendar that's a pocket. And the three flowers and the leaves. And then we have June. June, I used the pale silver color, kind of like, you know, June weddings, that sort of thing. And um, again, the pocket with the little tag. And for the, this, this tag, I used um, some design paper that was not solid. It actually had a real pale script behind it. Um, but it stamped really, really well with a pumice stone. So, and again, the three flowers there. 
So that was June. So you flip it over. And then when you get done with June, you just flip the calendar over. And then we have July. So there's six pages um, in this little book, little flip calendar. Here's July. Again, a really pretty chevron with the strip across the top. And the look three punch flowers. And then here's the pocket. Again, I used that little script paper to stamp the little... Um, it's actually supposed to be a picture frame, I think, but I thought it'd make a cute little, either a photo mat or a little journaling spot right there. And then here is August. August, I used the um, design paper, had these two, one was a dark brown wood grain uh, pattern, and this one was a, like a whitewash, a peeled paint um, wood grain, so I thought that was kind of pretty. So I used that for August, kind of like summertime, whitewash at the beach sort of thing. And I used some white flatback pearls because, number one, I ran out of the black ones. Um... Again, the little calendar here with the little pocket. And this scallop punch is actually from EK Success. And here's September. Again, I have the um, brown colored chevron. Again, the calendar, the three flowers with the white flat back pearls. And those pearls are actually from, um, I got them at Joann's in the dollar bin, I think. They're like GCD Studios or something like that. And then there's a little tag and they're playing on the back. And October, October, I used the black paper that had the little um, cream colored dots on it because black, you know, black and orange for Halloween. So I thought that kind of, was kind of appropriate. Again, I got three little double punch flowers here with the flat back pearls and the leaves. And then my little journaling spot here that is a pocket for the calendar. And then November, I used the striped paper. Again, the three flowers with the flat back pearls, the two little leaves, and here's the little journaling spot for the November calendar. And December. For December, I used kind of the silver um, diamond-shaped paper. And I went ahead and added the three um, flowers here. And then I went ahead and the leaves. Again, my little pocket here. So that's December. And then you flip it over, and then this is the back of the cover. And, and this is actually a little grunge piece from Tim Holtz. And I went ahead and layered that on um, some of the design paper. And I put a couple of brads in there. And I did leave it open. I haven't decided if I want to put something in here or not but um, anyway that option is available for me so there you have it that's my little 2013 little desktop calendar it will stand up like this like this if I want it to but there you go everybody that's my calendar happy new year thanks for watching bye